Alright guys, here's the deal. I've never caught a bass on a whopper plot. I've been wanting to catch one on one of these for a long time, so seems like good conditions. Let's see if we can make it happen. This seems like perfect buzzbait conditions, but the thing I like about this is you can actually pause it. Almost like a mix between a buzzbait and a pop bar. I really want to catch one on this. I can't believe I haven't caught one off yet. I haven't really had a great day to try it. It's drizzly overcast right now. This would normally be a perfect buzzbait situation. bass on one of these for so long. I finally did it. Yes. See you later, dude. Mission accomplished. It's such a cool bait because it's like a buzz bait, yet it's a popper. And it's good plopping conditions right now. So I finally caught my first Whopper Plopper fish. I filmed that video a couple weeks ago. Perfect overcast, rainy conditions, just look like perfect buzz bait weather or spook. And I, was, I just said, you know what? I'm gonna commit to the Whopper Plopper until I catch fish on it. And I did, almost got two fish on it. And I've since caught more bass on it. I've really started building confidence in it. It's a great little bait. I just wanted to kind of dive into it a little bit more with you. So. Uh, this this color is called T1000, which I really like. This is the 90 size. They also make it in a 130 size, which I also have. And I'm still experimenting with this, but I found that the best retrieve so far has been when I stop the bait, uh, just kind of go in little retrieves and then stop it, and that's when I hit it, uh, similar to a pop bar or spook, um, not like a buzz bait. Let me know in the comments. Let everybody know what is the best retrieval that you found. Have you fished this whopper plopper yet? Have you found that uh, you know a straight retrieve or a jerk retrieve is good? I don't know. I'm still experimenting with it. This was kind of a bait that I've had a long time, and I'd pick it up, I'd throw it a few times, and then I'd switch to something else. I'd switch to a spook or something that I had more confidence in. This bait is going to be a great fall bait. That's why I really wanted to share this video with you guys. Um, you know, fishing for schooling bass or around trees, standing timber, grass lines, places you're going to throw a frog, um, you know, fishing on the outside edge with, with this, early mornings, late evenings, overcast days when they're kind of roaming around. This is a great lure. In the description, I've got the links down there. Uh, if you want to go get this exact color and the size, you can go check that out. But hey guys, thanks for watching today's video. Make sure you stay tuned for more action on Thursday where I catch fish on this bait and me and Craig are also slamming them on frogs and flipping on Toledo Bend. If you missed uh, the vlog from this week, you probably got a little taste uh, of that. If you go watch that over there, the next video is going to be awesome. Can't wait. So a lot of top water action. Thanks again guys for tuning in. We'll catch y'all next time. Feel decent? Yeah! Snook! Pretty yeah! small. You got a snook, dude. dude! Hey, they got pretty bad gill plates on them. Oh, dude, that's okay. I need the scars right now. Hey, lip just, like just lip them like a bass, bro. You got him, Justin. Come here, give me your face. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> Finally got me a snook. First one. God. What a strike. I don't know if I still have him. What are you talking about? Yeah, I got him.